greetings on this uh, rather, hmm, it's actually quite sunny out there at the moment on this Sunday afternoon. We're going to use uh, this week's little guidance, shall we say. I shall use Comet Barton Reed, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Anyone who knows me, the way I work, it's um, for me, it's I tend to focus on the images rather than the words. It's like a heretical to some that they disregard the words. I do pay attention, but I work mainly with the images. This is what we all need to know for the, the week ahead. Let's see what we've got for you. Number one. Number two, straight to the bottom. Number three. And the ones that we're going to work with. So, what comes out first? Your popping pop. <laughs> we got this lovely little image here. It's called the Cabal Boy. It's this young lad playing his tune, going through life. So, what does that tell me? When I look at that, you know what? It's kind of an innocence to this. And it's being, because you know we go through our daily lives, we get dragged in what I call drudgery. Um, there are tasks that we need to do, of course there are. You know, it's like we go to work, not want to go to work unless they're very gifted, of course, or very happy and lucky. But most of us, we get go through life, we've got to do stuff, we've got to pay the bills, we've got to do that. But make sure you find time to do the things you love doing. You've really got to make sure you do that, otherwise, what happens, you just become a prisoner. You know, it's a... Uh, Something I learned about yesterday, we become slaves to the clock. You know, we must do this at this time, this, this, this. Don't get me wrong, you've got to, it's always good to be a little bit organised, nothing wrong with that. But you've got to have time to just be know, spontaneous. Spontane spontaneity is wonderful, being a bit capricious, whimsical. Um, sometimes it's just good to do that, surprise yourself. Because otherwise, you are literally just living life, going through the motions. Like, bom, bom, bom. Next thing you know, you're off up with the old pearly gates, and they say, Well, what did you do? Well, I was a really good workout, yeah, and, and, yep, yeah, I paid my bills on time, and who's going to say yes, and? And then you're struggling and think, I don't really know. And that's kind of what we got. If we go about innocence, that kind of, like, having fun, and it's like, something else that came through from the thing I did just to live life, enjoy life. Really make sure you go, so, yeah, by all means, go to work, but you go to work so you can enjoy life. Don't go to work to, you know, don't live for work, shall we say and unfortunately a lot of us can easily get into that trap so yeah by all means work hard but reap the benefits otherwise you'll snuff it and someone else will take them from you a bit blunt there but it's true okay so leading nicely onto this one the prison wave exactly what i was talking about in the last card it really does because our life becomes a prison if we're not very if we're um not aware of it so let's break out that prison. So it's, it, these films must just be one car together, even though they're completely different movies, but they link into the same message. So this is telling me that we do kind of like just be aware, because that same little child is completely crushed. It's completely crushed. It's in a prison and thinking like, how the hell do I get out of this? Get out of it by being yourself, being all true to yourself. When you're stuck in that position you don't like, See how you can escape it. See what you can do. Don't ever just think like, oh God, I've had enough. Because then you are in, you're going to need people like me to, to help you. <laughs> and you don't want that. You can help yourself. Do always help yourself when it comes first. So that's kind of what I'm getting for you guys right now. Help yourself. Spread those wings. Spread those wings and fly away. A lovely Queen song about that. You should listen to it. It's very good. But that's what I'm getting. It's just like, break the prison. Finally... <laughs> the Arrow Master, and again linking on quite nicely, that is really setting your targets, and it is kind of being open, being awareness. The, the word awareness comes to me because archers, you know, back in the old, uh, the old was it Henry the Old Fifth? It was Henry the Fifth, wasn't it? With the old French coming over the hills at Agincourt, holding the line, just making sure they just hit the target all the time because they was overwhelmed. That's what it's all about. You can, if you hit your targets, if you have your targets that are realistic, um, get there, get there, make nice little targets, and you can make a huge, big one when you set it that way. So yeah, it's important to keep yourself motivated. This is like the golden era. It's the it's the motivational one for me, and a little bit of magic in the corner there. Magic happens. We can create magic ourselves. Get that magic going. 
hit your mark, hit your target, and just go, go with it, go with the flow, go with the right energy, and you can accomplish much, you can imagine, get my words out in a minute, bit marbles in the mouth there, but you can achieve a lot when you've really put your mind to stuff. So yeah, that, I, I quite like that. We, this is how you kind of break these two. Because as I say, have that innocence as we go through a drudgery. We don't get trapped in the drudgery, or we end up with that. Don't want that, do we, lads? Okay, ladies, of course. And we do that with a little bit of target setting and all the things we do. It's almost like a, I mean, I'm not one for, you know, I used to hate it when work was saying, we've got to set these targets, these targets. I'm not, it's nothing to do with that. Forget that. I don't agree with that anyway. I'm very anti that kind of thing with all these blooming spreadsheet rubbish. But for me, it's about setting targets in life and your own kind of development. And always look to see how you can do that. And happiness. What makes you happy and make yourself happy? Don't ever become one of these people that just, you know, going through life with a scowl on their face. Face life with a smile, not a snarl. That's my advice to you. And on that note, I leave you. I wish you all well, and until next I speak out, enjoy it.